You can't really see the tea. I don't it's know how I feel about our sticker being Edward's butt. This beach is supposed to have bird watching, whales, and seals. Lots I swear that danger. was a seal out there. People eat these? Yeah. No reason not to come here. Yeah. It's just very interesting. Yeah. These are all things he found? Yes. These are all things he's found on the coast of Washington over 45 years. So they took him, two Canadians, and a family from Alaska to uh, Japan and to return things they had found on the coast. Oh, wow. It took about two years for us to get stuff after the tsunami in 2011. That's crazy. Where are we going? We're going to go take some pictures of some twilight stuff. So we're on 101 and we're just driving along the Pacific Ocean and there's all these little turnouts to go out and we're way early for our next stop so we're gonna go out to the beach. Are you excited for the beach? Kind of, not really. Matt, are you excited for the beach? Yeah. He's got his tunes in, he doesn't care. <laughs> We've already checked off one item on our list. The Kellelock Beach area of the Olympic National Park. This is it. So it looks like one long beach. But, but it's it says four. there's yeah, oh there's four. I thought there was only three. There's beach one, two, three, and four. So we're on our oh hi. We're on our way uh, from Oceana and uh, Ocean City, Washington, up to Forks, Washington which is where they filmed Twilight has, I, I, I didn't even think about that. And then somebody said, oh, you Twilight. And I'm like, what? And then guess what? Tonight's a full moon. Yep. You know what happens on nights of full moon. That guy from the movie comes out. What's his name? I don't remember right at the moment. I remembered last night. Tyler, ta ta Taylor Lawton. Taylor Lawton. He turns into a werewolf. I'm going to get some glitter paint for my body. <laughs> She does know where we are. Where are, we? where are we? On the beach. Where that blue dot. All the green dots are all different sites of the Kalalot coastal area. So even with airplane mode on, this one will tell you where you're at. Yeah. This is the, show us the app. This is the, um, I'm gonna close it out. This is the National Park Service app. If I click on it, you'll see. It doesn't like that there's no internet, but I have it on airplane mode and it's still loading. And this is one of our top five apps and you can- Yeah, this is like the number one. Yeah, this we have, one. this is kind of a weird view. I apologize, I had the camera upside down. Um, so this is the one where you can go on ahead of time, click on the national park that you're gonna be at if you think you're not gonna have service. Because see, we don't have internet, so I can click on Olympic National Park and everything will open up because I saved it. I clicked that little tab and downloaded it ahead of time. So I did that with all the parks coming up because we've got Glacier, Olympic. There were a couple other things that I downloaded the information for because, well, we need it. Yeah. So if you go to our website, www.hintthetrail.com and then go to resources and scroll down, you will see the National Park Toolkit. Or if you just go to our website and hit hop on and subscribe, you'll automatically get the toolkit. And it, it is very, very helpful. This beach is supposed to have bird watching, whales, and seals. Lots I swear, that was a seal out there. It should be probably a little bit further up is the Ruby, Ruby Beach. And you see that, those rocks out there? What'd you find? Look at that. It's a big one. This is a good beach comber.
People eat these? Yeah. What? This is a razor clam. It's like a worm. Yeah, he's a clam. Not touching it. Touch yeah. it. He's just a clam. I gotta put him back in the water. So this is like a very small version of a gooey duck. Gooey ducks are huge, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, here's another one. Here's a big one. Oh, look at him. Wow. Quick, get it! The water's coming in! Look at that. That guy's alive. Butters, oh, oh, yeah. Did you say He's already hit two. Ooh. Ooh. I'm excited for some reason. For some reason? Yeah. Hello. Here, I'm going to feed her. Corbin, give him one. Here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, she's going to feed me. No. Are you, are you scared? I'm not scared, I'll do it if you just upset to. because of the carrots. I think I like she wants I like another carrots. one. Do you want another one? Can I feed her? I wanna feed her. I wanna Oh, oh. <laughs> That was great. Sometimes it's important to provide a little excitement in your children's lives. Where are we going? I have no idea. Where are we going? The Beachcomber Museum. Let's start that again. Where are we going? We're going to go take some pictures of some Twilight stuff. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot. I thought we were just going straight to the Beachcomber no, Museum. No, we got to hit the treaty line where the vampires and werewolves do not mix. She did Goonies for me, so I guess we'll go do this. Thankfully, Twilight wasn't actually filmed anywhere near the town of Forks. But everybody comes here because that Forks is the town that it was written about. Where pine needles are falling in onto your it thing. It is, it's snowing in pine needles. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. At any moment, somebody could jump out and try to bite your neck. Sure. So cover that up. There you go. <laughs> what are you doing with that tree? I was taking the picture around the tree. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. Does this make you happy? Yeah, I just wanted to take the picture of the sign. The other side of the sign is the no vampires beyond this point. Oh. Matt, you don't want to get in the picture? Oh. I said, Matt, get in there. Jeez. Nice. I want to put a sticker on. I don't, we'll put it on. Pick a sign. I want to put one on. Wait, no, I think one sticker is enough. My mom's the one that really likes Twilight. Where are you going to put it? I'm going to put it on the side of the people that I like. Team Edward. On his forehead. I'm not going to put it on him. Can you put That's it like rude. right here on his arm like a so tattoo? That, somebody put mom there. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, we're not putting it down there. I know, that's not what I was saying. How about where I... Okay, so you're going to put it where? I'm going to put it on his pocket because there's nobody, nobody put anything there. I'm going to put it right here. Yeah. 
You can't really see the T. I don't it's know how I feel about our sticker being Edward's butt. Are you happy? Yeah. I Not mean, that's until really, we hit up the little really, store in town. Oh, the, when we get our hairs cut, well. Yeah. This is the, like the only thing from the town that was actually used in the movie. Well, and a jacket from high school. Huh. Like a letterman's jacket. I think we're good. Hi. Hello. Damn. So we're only open June, July, and August. And um, this is 40, it's like I said, 45 years. Of Anything that's marked with the pink star are his most interesting items or unique items. Mm -hmm. So when you go around the museum, there's a Navy sonar buoy over there. There's an anchor chain. So you might, you know, look at those things when you. These are all things he found? Yes. These are all things he's found on the coast of Washington over 45 years. He was in a movie called Lost and Found. It's in the corner over there. It's a documentary about returning things to Japan after the tsunami. Oh, wow. It was 2018, a uh, film crew from Canada. So they took him, two Canadians, and a family from Alaska to uh, Japan and or to return things they had found on the coast. Oh, wow. It took about two years for us to get stuff after the tsunami in 2011. That's crazy. If you write a note and put it in a bottle, they'll throw. it's gonna be thrown out 20 to 30 miles at sea. So see all this? Bottle post. So you put a note in there and then a fishing boat or whatever goes out, they drop that and then when it lands, somebody somewhere in the world will find that bottle and they'll get your note. It's cool. Go for it. Go for it, Matt. This is even creepier. Yeah, that one's more creepy. Mm -hmm. Hello. John's Beachcombing Museum. Very cool. It's amazing. It's amazing. How many things are just floating around in the ocean and wind up on beaches? He's collected for 45 years and this collection, it's kind of mind blowing how much stuff is Garbage is in the trash. Is in the trash. Is trash. in the ocean. Yeah. The ocean is not the and garbage. It's really cheap. So it's $5 for adults, free for kids. 11 and 11 under. under. And it's $2 for seven or up to 12 17. to 17. Yeah. And if you're a vet, two bucks. We paid $6. If you're active duty, it's free. No reason not to come here. Yeah. It's just very interesting. Well, that whole section about the Japanese tsunami. It, when the tsunami happened in, was it 2011, mm -hmm. 2013? 2011. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff that washed up and the gentleman went over there and spent He actually two returned years. stuff that washed up on the shores here to Japan mm -hmm. to reconnect some of the families with them. It just kind of gets your heart. But there's a movie about it. I'll put a video here so you can see what the movie is. It's on Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. Lost now. and found. We need to watch that. Mm -hmm. Look at that sand dollar. Looks like a hundred dollar bill. Did you see the magnet? The magnet too? There's ribs, there's um, some vertebrae, there's another skull back there. That's crazy. And then he's got, you know, some more, there's some wood from some old shipping 
mm -hmm. vessels, yeah, that he's collected. I mean, it's a long time, 45 years old. Oh, yeah. Collect stuff. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.